I was born in England, near Oxford, and grew up in, uh, in mostly in southern England. So that very much shaped my, uh, the way I speak and my culture. And uh, went to school there, went to Oxford University. And uh, then, you know, in the profession I chose, uh, chose I very luckily got to work in, in the States. I married an American and uh, have lived here since the uh, early 70s. Well, you know, it's, I keep puzzling about this, um, the actor's role. I mean, as a young person, I was enormously impressed reading things that Laurence Olivier said, that the, the actor's function in society was as important as a psychiatrist. Because he took it back to the, the old Shakespearean thing of holding the mirror up to nature and allowing people to understand what made people tick and how they related and so on in a very user-friendly way of uh, the drama. You know, and then if you want to be really pretentious, you take it back to, you know, to ancient Greece, uh, what was happening there. Um, and this impressed me. Also the fact that I, I found I had a facility for performing and enjoyed it. And then in particular, I, I was very lucky to uh, live near London in the suburbs. And uh, in the late 50s, when I was about 16, a, a, a remarkable man called Michael Croft started the Youth Theatre, which became, over time, the National Youth Theatre of Great Britain. Very well respected, respected an integral part of English culture. And there's hardly an actor who's um, of note who hasn't been through the youth theatre. I think of contemporaries, Dame Helen Mirren, and um, there's Daniel Craig and Derek Jack, you know, everyone. Uh, and this was important because at the age of 16, I was performing Shakespeare in Paris. I was representing my nation, you know. And so this, it became very heady. And, um, and uh, as I said, Oxford University was a great unofficial drama school because it was happening on every level from uh, classic cult you know, culture to experimental theater to also comedy, particularly you know, up in the Edinburgh Festival, up on the fringe. Um, you know, there was a great tradition of taking a, sh you know, a show. And my contemporaries at Oxford were one half of the Monty Pythons, Michael Palin and Terry Jones. And so we were doing those that kind of comedy stuff. They had the genius to take this and put it out into the wider world. And, um, and God bless them for it. So I, I, even at university, I wasn't sure that this is you know, what I wanted to do. Uh, but I'd met so many academics who I felt had somehow had this interest in the drama, uh, but had sort of stopped short of plunging into the unknown world of uh, show business and had uh, stayed in the familiar territories of academy, territory of academy, and uh, somehow were vicariously fulfilling their interest through the, in the theatre through, the, through their students. I didn't want that. I thought, well, I'll do it. I don't want to live my life knowing I could have done it and hadn't dared. So um, I, I became an actor, and I thought I'd see what you know how it what happened.